that you have to see and listen to me again. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Um, I, I realize that uh, some of you, the English is not your first language, neither is mine. But uh, so we'll try and keep it as simple as we can. Um, when you look at the investment chapter of the TPP, um, and you listen to the panel members, it will sound to you like a horror movie, which is really unreal. It's like science fiction. Every time I listen to um, anybody speaking about the investment chapter of the TPP, I just cannot believe it, because it is really so frightening. Um, so with that background, let me just, I will just set the stage and then my panel members will pick up on the real horror of the horrors. Now, the, as you know, the investment chapter, this was one chapter which was leaked again. Luckily, we have many people who leak the tax. So we were able to look at it. And what we discover is that uh, the investment chapter, the logic at the back of the investment chapter is basically to make the country, any country, which, TPP country, more friendly to investors. In fact, the foreign investor is treated even better than the local company. And um, so the basic logic is that uh, investment liberalization, that's what it is about. And then um, what happens is that in, in normally in countries like Malaysia, Vietnam, uh, even Singapore, governments have regulation or regulatory policy on how much to liberalize, when to liberalize, what aspects you can liberalize. Now with the TPP, this policy space of government is restricted. And so the foreign investor or the foreign investment which comes in is, uh, has a lot of benefits under the TPPA. So what you are not, governments will not be allowed to do is for instance banning some performance requirements meaning in the past like in malaysia when a before a foreign when a foreign company comes you can say that uh, you this particular investment cannot you know the company must at least have uh, 51 percent in the hands of malays for instance now those kind of requirements cannot be there so uh, the government policy space is affected because that's really important. But what is really very dramatic about the TPPA investment chapter is the definition of what is an investment. What is an investor and what is an investment? It's very, very broad. It is so broad that it can cover anything. For instance, it can be an enterprise, it can be shares, it can be equity, it can be contracts, it can be intellectual property, it can be futures, futures means, I think is future contracts, yeah, something you negotiate in the future, leases, derivatives, options, permits, tangible and intangible, now you're a lawyer, this can be anything, tangible <laughs> or intangible, yeah, everything, property. So many, many things. So it's so broad that many governments, actually we were surprised to learn that many governments don't even know that this is what the investment chapter is about. It is so very wide. And so if this is the definition of investor and investment, then the obligations in the TPP are very, uh, uh, you know, apply to all these aspects. One of the most difficult um, pieces of the provision to, for us to accept is what is called fair and equitable treatment. Now, my friend Melinda will go more into detail. But when you look at fair and equitable, I mean, you are not an English native speaker. Fair, what's wrong? Equitable, what's wrong? Sounds very good. Fair and equitable, everybody is treated in a fair way. But this is not what it means. What it actually means is fair and equitable, and this is how cases have been interpreting fair and equitable, is that when the investor makes the investment or comes into the country or buys some, some post box or whatever, at that particular point in time, 
the what the, 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 the company should the investor the regulations the policies the laws at that time cannot change so when you come everything is at the standstill already that means there's a standstill on regulation so if you want to change your policy you want to change your law for instance suddenly you discover that uh, nuclear energy is bad because of Fukushima so therefore nuclear is, is a bad technology and you want to ban nuclear power you cannot do that <coughs> well you can do but the company will sue you yeah or you find a chemical which is toxic at first you didn't know it was toxic but later you found that it was toxic you want to ban the toxic chemical you can't do of course you can do but you get sued so this is what it essentially does is government's hands are tied the government cannot improve the law in the public interest and you will hear of those cases which i told you is from the horror movie you cannot believe it yeah so this is fair and equitable treatment that means the investor is treated fairly not the public the public is unfairly treated so you can fall sick and die your government cannot do anything okay so this is the this is why um, this is one of those provisions that we fight against um, another aspect of it is that if the investors is, is feels that his revenue his profit or whatever is affected yeah then there can be expropriation that means normally expropriation means the government comes and sees a property but in the case of the TPP expropriation also includes indirect expropriation meaning you don't go and seize the property in the old days you know or even now when you understand some the gov you know the co government acquires a plant acquires a property the government has to pay compensation as you know but in the case of the TPP because the definition of investment is so wide so if you affect the company in any way that would affect its investment that is indirect the company will say that you have indirectly affected my revenue so therefore you have indirectly expropriated my profit and this entitles the company to sue for unlimited monetary compensation no limit you can the sky is the limit and you can also charge interest rate which is commercially reasonable now i'm a lawyer i go to court usually you don't have compound interest the interest rate is fixed but in the case of tpp cases when you have the investor state dispute you have compound interest from the time the government introduces the measure until the the the, the decision comes the interest keeps adding 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 so this is this is really very very huge in terms of the consequences for governments so the key that that's the other issue governments can be sued by the investor in not your domestic court you can sue them in the in the um, you at the, the what's called the dispute settlement arbitration now you will hear more about that from melinda because this is this is unbelievable they are not judges they are not fair they are biased there's there's conflict of interest and it's really uh, governments have been sued for billions of dollars for protecting the public so this is one of the dangers the other which is very important um, which which the investment chapter will restrict is capital controls i mean you remember in malaysia when we had when, when in this region when we were attacked by currency manipulation and the government intervened and prevented um, the capital from flowing out money from flowing out government took certain measures that will not be allowed under the TPP now this is because the investor is given the right to send money out bring money in as they free flow and this is what the chapter wants to do now this is terrible this means that the government uh, what you call it cannot protect the economy because of of capital just flowing out like that and this is uh, will can lead to many uh, quite a chaos um, as we saw during the currency crisis um, in this part of the world um, so i will stop there just to give you a flavor of what are all the highlights of how dangerous the investment chapter is 
and and how the foreign investor is treated better than the local and this is in all levels of 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 investment whether it's at the federal level state level local government level at all levels so the, the, the this is really very wide in terms of its consequence so what we say is that this is one of the areas where in fact we don't want the tpp for all these reasons and more because it's really uh, un unbelievable the rights that invest uh, foreign investors have over the people and the the economy and 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 the future of the country thank you thank you very much nina